Welcome everybody to Afterworld's Workshop. Uh, my name is Drew, and today we're going to show you how to make a foam representation of a Molotov cocktail that you can use in your live-action role-playing games. This can be used in the Afterworld's live-action role-playing game for the Riptag system, or you could use it in an air airsoft game, or you could use it in your other uh, post-apocalyptic game. But let's get started. And here's the fizz rep. So this has a display to show that it is active. And this is how you reset it so that you can use it again. So let's make this. Get your 13th tentacle of Cthulhu or foam insulation pipe. Get your prison shiv or foam cutter if you don't have anything else. You're gonna need a Sharpie for marking. Gonna need some red yarn. Now this is important because that's fire. Duct tape, everybody needs duct tape. Get yourself some paracord. Uh, you're gonna need a decent length. Get some zip ties. These are every crafter's best friends. And some sort of heat. We're gonna use a lighter just to show what everybody can do. And get yourself a beer bottle to model. And always wear your respiration. All right, take your bottle reference, lay it on its side and put it up next to your foam. We're gonna mark out some distances on the foam so that we can make sure that we get the angles of the bottle correct. Uh, leave a little bit at the end so that there is a little bit for it to fold back under to make the bottom of the bottle. And uh, yeah, so just, just mark out any place you'd like to make sure that there's some sort of definition in the bottle. Now, cut out the piece of foam so that it is the length that you want it to be, a little bit longer than the bottle. We don't need that bottle anymore, so go ahead and put it away. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove some of the foam from the top so that the neck will be able to be smaller than the rest of the bottle, of the, or body of the bottle. And cut a triangle. And then we're gonna wanna do that in all four sides. Always be careful when using one of these knives. As you can see here, all of the foam removed. We're gonna do the same kind of thing to the bottom, only much smaller. We're gonna take uh, five sections out of the bottle, or bottom of the bottle, so that we can fold them over on each other and make a little bit more rounded bottom. Okay, we're gonna measure out the yarn. Let's grab a, a length that is longer than our bottle overall by about four or five inches. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough space to be able to tie the knot in the base of the yarn and have a handle at the top. All right, loop it over a bunch till you've got enough yarn to the, for your fire and tie it all together with your paracord. We tried to put a little bit of a piece of foam in here, but as you'll see, that didn't quite work. Make sure you've got a knot that'll pass through the big part of the tube, but not the top or the bottom. Go ahead and tie this over so that you get your paracord knotted up inside of the yarn. Okay, so now we're gonna cut open the loops of our fire so that when it travels through the air, you'll have a lot of wispy tendrils instead of just flappy loops. All right, feed the paracord through your tube we want to make sure that the fire comes in through the top of the bottle and the paracord out the bottom. Now take your zip tie and zip tie around where the cap would go. This will do two things. This will help you keep the fire inside of the Molotov and it'll also make a little bit of an indent where the top of the cap would screw on. Now pull your knot towards the bottom and use your fire here and we're gonna go ahead and just melt the bottle into the shape that we want it to be. 
a little bit of light heat. Make sure you don't leave it exposed on any one spot too long. We want to make sure that this is just slowly, slowly retreating. Uh, if you want to use your hands, make sure maybe wear gloves. All right, time to grab some duct tape. We weren't able to find brown, so we're using this copper. It kind of gives it like a shiny glass look. Take a little bit of tape. You're going to cover this spot that has the zip tie on it. Make sure to cover the parts of your bottle that you want to form into a shape with a little bit more of a tight hold on the tape. Now this thing's not going to be striking anyone with any sort of force. Uh, there's no weight behind this to throw it very hard at anybody, so we're not going to worry about uh, vertical taping only, and horizontal taping is just great for this type of object. Now grab another zip tie. We're going to zip tie this around the bottom. This may slip a little bit, but I mean, if you're careful, this will work. And this is what we're going to use to form the bottom of our bottle. Now grab some more tape, and you're going to tape the living bejesus out of the bottom of this bottle so that the bottom of your fire won't be able to pass through. A bejesus is a unit of measurement in duct tape. Now cover up the rest of your bottle. At this point, we're not really worrying about shaping the bottle because it's already in its perfect round shape. Touch up any spots you thought you might have missed. Sometimes narrators get need to entertain themselves. All right, there we go. Viola, we have a bottle. A couple more steps to finish this up. We need to make sure that this paracord down the bottom is going to match to be able to pull it out. So pull your fire all the way extending and then leave just a little bit of the paracord out the bottom. Seal it with your fire. Maybe smash it with your hand. And cut your fire to length. Bam, it works. One last little piece that you can do is make yourself a label. We're going to do a really simple label here. This is an Afterworld's Amber label. You can spend as much time as you want on your label. This is your build. cocktail. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe comment something in the video if you want us to see us build something else. And if you're interested in the Afterworld role-playing game, uh, check us out on the links in the description. And uh, you guys have a great day.